race. It's it's just I mean it's a it's a long list. Uh, easiest way to remember is to look at the car, look at all the names on it. But first and foremost, Rulo Orof, he's the one that built this car for me, and he's just amazing. You know, it's it's a Orof built Class 11 car painted by DNR Restorations. He's like one of my best friends that always takes care of me. And General Tire, first and foremost, they're probably the first corporate company that gave me an opportunity and you know trusted me when I was barely starting racing so definitely thank General Tires and Marco and then Happy Hour Shave, Slow Ride Racing, Pharmacy Board Shop, Vintage vintage V-Dubs, that's my, my good friend Bruce in Hesperia, we've been friends for a long time, he's given us many many parts you know to keep these things going. Um, so. Who else? Manwelder, Extreme Powder Coating, GoPro, RVMD, he's been taking care of us too. You know, Team BK is the one has been hooking me up with GoPros. Thank you guys. And just, just everybody, our whole, our whole crew, everybody from the desert. This is almost my backyard. You know, I'm from Apple Valley, lived in the desert my whole life. And so, you know, there's you know, tons of people from our hometown that support us. And I'm, I'm truly grateful for everything. Congratulations, Donnie. Thank you. Thank you. Donnie Donovan, everybody. And uh, we still got Cisco to come on up here. I yes. to thank somebody. Oh, real quick, Ryan. I forgot to thank my beautiful girlfriend, because without her, I could not do it. And uh, RVMD Services and Brooke, I love you. Thank you for everything you do for me. He's not sleeping in the back of the pickup tonight. You're going to let him in the RV. All right. Well, we got a race going on out there. We'll get Cisco up there, get some words real quick. Good old Cisco B. Out. Cisco, of course, taking the big uh, win yesterday in the desert race. Things like a Timex takes a licking and keeps on ticking. Well, Cisco. <laughs> You've had a good week, a couple days here. I know you probably want to finish a little higher after yesterday's finish, but uh, man, you fought your way up to that third position. Yeah, off the start, we got qualified first, but the inversion, I guess, kind of hurt us this morning. But uh, we try, I tried to stay out of trouble, and I stayed wide the first corner, and I think it was just too soft, and two or three got by us, and I hung back. But when you're in the back, you get beat up. Yeah, definitely, and I, you can see some wide lines you're trying to do to avoid all that carnage going on. Yep, I just try to keep clean because that's what we race, but it's all good. Congratulations to Ryan and, and uh, Donnie in second. Well, I know you guys always race together, all these crew, and it's so good to see you guys still doing it. Yep. Well, you want to thank some people. Yeah, I want to thank all the gas and Lee Perfect and uh, Dave Cole for putting this together. It's uh, really neat, and I, I to see, you know, the 37 class 11s the other day, I think we had 18 today, so that's got to be exciting for all the people that are out here. Right on, congratulations, and I know uh, people that make this buck get around the track. Yeah, I got to thank uh, Rugged Radio, Radio's Greg and Jaden Cottrell. They get make sure we make it out here. Fox Shocks spent the last uh, year, uh, thanks to Bobby and Nick, for developing these badass shocks. Uh, Yokohama Tires, no flats this whole weekend with all these all these rocks. I got to thank uh, Jimenez Racing Engines for one of the strong, strong VW engines, Dave Foltz Trans, and then... Uh, Shapiro Racing, my dad, People's Racing, and then all the uh, Ensenada, El, El Gabi, que se sube conmigo, de copiloto, hizo el carril. Pesadas. Thank you. Cisco, Bio, everybody on there. Rajo, well, back to you, Scott. Well, thanks a lot, Dave, and that took a while. <laughs> As we've got our limited buggies on the track, Carson Smith running up front, Travis Howard second, Sean Jones along with Matt Simodi. We got four yep. of our limited buggies out on the track right now on lap number four. So, uh, we don't have 20, you've just freaked her out. There's still like 10 sets of trophies up there. <laughs> That doesn't mean 10 more long interviews. That wasn't, they, 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 the car wouldn't start. They couldn't get it up. You don't think about what you say before it comes out of your mouth, do you? <laughs> they couldn't get the car started. <laughs> I was stalling out there, trying to get him up on the ramp. 
So there's Howard running, currently running in second at 318, just uh, what, one turn away from. There's our leader off the distance to the right side of the screen. Carson Smith checking out. Yeah, your interviews stopped just in time for the competition yellow. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> hey, I asked one question. Oh, the rest was stalled because he couldn't get the car out. Not coming. This is probably, uh, I kind of expected more. Limited buggies to be here than this. I, I mean, was, I, sometimes I was, that's been yeah. like our, one of our largest fields. I was hoping to see uh, Mike and Bud Ward, if uh, Gerald would have come in, and some other people. Well, for the fans that want to check out ha uh, Power Hour, going on up at Chocolate Thunder, it is now, it, it should have started by now. Yeah, I believe you said, what was it, 2 o'clock? 2 o'clock, yeah. So it's, it should have started by now, but it's still not ago, still ago. not too late to get up there to check out um, the majority of qualifying in power hour. So if you want to check it out, head up there right now because you don't want to miss it. Trust me. As a cop, let's see. No, a caution flag is out. Well, that's going to be the cop caution. Oh, yeah. Yep. Wow. Five see, down. see. I, I, I got the interviews done before the cop caution. One lap. <laughs> Come on, guys. Group up. Reel them in. So they're re-racked. They're restacked. They're going to bring them around here. That beautiful Pioneer Honda. Crew once again with the largest rear seat seating with leg room. I was talking to one of the gals, they said she likes it because the center seat you have three people in the back, center seat actually kind of pushes you forward a little bit so you're not all bumping shoulders. So Karen Howard just checks in. Just go, Travis, shake and bake. And is that, is uh, that Palapa ball there? Do we see uh, Dana Dake? Yeah, Dana's Sean Painter. I need help to find rear end for the truck. We are trying our best to get Brielle to the second round. Awesome. So we got people communicating back and forth on the uh, chat. Find race parts. I on like the, it. Yeah, on the chat line. His brother, uh, BDR, Brian Digg, one of our safety guys here. Whole family of racers. That's awesome. So just a turn or two away from getting back at it for the second half of the limited buggy main event. What's our next race there, bud? Um, I would let you know, but my paperwork fell between the cracks of the stage. <laughs> I could probably. Dude. Well, it, the wind caught it. You mean the dog didn't eat it? No, my dog ate my homework. Not my list. Well, the pace vehicles pulled off the track. We're back underway for the second half. Five laps remaining this time. by. A little bit of contact. There's some leading going on right now. we got a brand new leader as Travis Howard muscled his way up front. 19. Nice move by Travis. Wasn't it overly extreme? Just enough to... Uh, Forced our leader to, at the time to go, go a little bit outside. Yep. Yeah. And Travis is slowly trying to pull away. Has about two car lick, maybe three over Smith at the moment. 
But it almost looks like he might be overdriving it a bit because he goes in a corner and hucks it sideways and tries to drift it. And just like that, Smith comes right back now to the inside. Smith now trying to uh, keep it straight to the turns. But boy, he made up a ton of ground in that last turn. Going down to turn one, you can see how sideways he gets, scrubs off with a ton of speed. Meanwhile, Smith basically drives to the corner. You see once again, Smith reeling in our leader. Wow, nice pitch on that sideways there, able to keep it, and what a great acceleration. So we're basically halfway through our program, seven races, this will be race seven, I believe. So seven more to go. Here goes Smith to the inside, took a peek. No, nope, not quite close enough just yet. And there's that straightaway. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's like a, they're, they're taking it down a little bit more each time. Maybe not. Boy, Howard's trapped. Is scrubbing off a ton of speed. As here comes Smith now to the inside. As he has a major advantage on the inside of the track, except he's down tight. How about that? Howard somehow, Travis, was able to hold off that charge to the inside. Man. Nice move by Travis, our leader, to keep that point. That Carson Smith doing everything he can now, trying to look to the inside. Yeah, it looks like Howard shut the door right on his uh, front tire there. Again, uh, a close one. Oh. oh, no. Sean Jones up and over. With two laps to remain, the white flag was going to come out, but now the caution will come out. We'll have to re-rack and restack that field. Tough break for Jones. He was a little bit further back, but still at speed at the time. So the Honda crew, four-seater, brand new for 2023. Honda came out with that crew, and it's uh, so awesome. I know they're so dominant with the Honda talent, and, and as well as I saw Ethan Ebert driving the Ridgeline yesterday in the desert race. So Honda, really into it. We're gonna take a look and see what happened here, Scott. Yeah. Well, it's the lesser of two evils. If he had turned into it and saved it, which it could have done, he would have turned right into the car. I was just thinking yeah. the same thing, but he would have taken the other car out. Yep. I'm telling you, the production crew has been on top of today. <laughs> They're Jeez, so high. Wow. I mean, you know, I've been we've worked, both you and I have worked in a lot of motorsports, but, but when we come out to do this production in the middle of the desert with all the stuff that's going on, and for them to be on top of every little single thing, we got, you know, the power hour going on, we got qualifying going on over, we got short course going on in here, we got drone team static cameras we got helicopters up and they all keep it straight that's the amazing thing to me huh. it hurts my brain <laughs> it hurts my brain i don't know i thrive on chaos so i kind of like that <laughs> i just walk back there by the production semis right in the middle i look around and i don't get one thing of what's going on. And then you walk inside, oh, hell no. <laughs> it's like walking into a, one of those uh, production semis you see at the Super Bowl that they always show that's going on behind the scenes. Or Supercross. Or I'm like, that. yeah, I'm looking at that, going, and I'm listening to the guys talk. I'm like, nope. And I just slowly back out the door. And Ha-ha. <laughs> Yeah, our producer just told us that. That's like an FBI command center. Let alone all the so, spy cameras. So, yeah, have. so, okay, so, Mr. Producer, where are those other two balloons from <laughs> that are supposedly flying over the country? And how come you haven't shot them down? 
they're they're they're, they're bringing that in for us for uh, for, for the Ultra Four USA race. We got to make sure it's world, we're worldwide live. Yeah, I think the balloon was in the process of flying over, then stopped and started circling, going, "What in the hell's going on down there?" Now, now the one thing that used to blow me away is they had one flying over Montana. Now, why do you want to fly over a state where everybody has a gun? <laughs> it is a survivalist. <laughs> I suppose it wasn't it supposed to be like fifty thousand feet though, or something yeah. like that. Ridiculous. It wasn't. <laughs> no, maybe over Montana because there's nothing to see. Yeah. Clear skies, big. But then the fact nothing was done until they got to, what, Virginia or South Carolina or something? Flew into the ocean, huh? Okay. So basically went from one coast all the way across the country to the other coast. Okay, now it's safe. We didn't want to shoot it down over populated houses. Populated areas. Oh, give me a break. Yeah. There's plenty of land in Montana. So we're going back to green flag racing. Two laps remaining, and there's the green. And Opto Battery is always uh, finding the fastest starts out there. It'll take you outside entrance, inside exit, nothing there. Both rows, front row and second row, tried that maneuver. Again, side by side. Just how they started. Here they go. Mr. Howard, Mr. Smith, Mr. Smoke, Man. and Mr. Jones. Have to check up to make the turn so they don't over rotate. Comes back around on the outside. Carson Smith is hunting him now. Look at this, going up, trying to get the inside line. Carson yeah. Smith <laughs> and pushes them wide and gives them a face full of sand. Yep, it's straight away. Scott, that is almost completely mowed down. <laughs> you called it, I gotta say. You're not always right, but when you are. <laughs> that was, that was going to be a good one. I can't wait to see the Pro 2. I think you're going to be right. <laughs> that is a new line. So Julie Mia checks in and goes, when your husband builds a motor and transmissions for two of the cars racing, and there's a checkered flag, it makes for a very exciting race experience. Go Howard and Simone. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Well, that was a great race. Congratulations to Carson Smith as he makes that last lap ditch effort, gets the pass. Hell, that's. So we'll do a, you know, let's take a quick look at uh, what we just watched a moment ago. A replay going into the checkered flag. There's one pass. There's a slight tap. He over rotated. So it wasn't the fault of the, the uh, what was it, 318? No, yeah. Well, anyways, that will take care of our uh, limited buggy race. We'll send Dave one question per car. One. One. Uh, one. One. I don't know if they got the camera turned on in the truck to see this, but I'm giving you one. One. Go. Go.